Hello, I'm Doug, and you have stumbled across the Taste and Sensibility channel just as I'm starting up Mild Melty Cheese number 21, which is a cumin gouda or cumin gouda from a place in Wisconsin. It says raw farmstead cheese, raw cow's milk, cultures, enzymes, salt, cumin seeds. And they're very visible. They're whole cumin seeds. And I bought this cheese when I bought up some other things from Wisconsin, via Wisconsin Cheese Mart. And before I could get around to tasting it, I saw the Olivia and Joe Cheese Show. Do not the very same brand, but the same type of cheese with cumin seeds in it. And uh, so that was humorous. I'll put a link in to the description to uh, get you there and see if you're interested in that sort of thing. And now it looks like this is my usual struggle to open something. I tasted my cumin seeds in my spice cabinet this morning and went, wow, those are strong. That's very prominent in Indian food. And I'm thinking, <laughs> I only think of them in Mexican food. And, you know, and my chili doesn't taste like chili unless there's enough cumin in it. The seeds are boisterous and rambunctious and loud and they pop in your mouth and they have strong flavors and you don't need a lot. And it's definitely an Indian food spice, I can tell now. So let's work on the rind. Let's pull that back. So there's a wax part and then there's a cloth part I think I want to get rid of. Well, maybe not. Well, it just breaks off. I don't think I can do it all at once. So a little more undressing of this thing. There. So I brought lots more pairing options that might go with a more savory food. So I'm expecting strong flavors here or one dimensional Flavors. I don't know how much of the dairy flavors I'm going to get or how much texture I can pick up. So I really don't know how big the experience is going to be or how complicated. So it's cutting, it's telling me there's an interesting texture. Okay, I've got a few pieces here to get started with. But before I put one of these in my mouth, I want to ask you to like the video down below, leave comments and questions, share it with friends, subscribe to the channel, and click on that bell to get notified when the new videos come out. And they come out once a week or so. So let's go into cumin gouda. Creamy cheese with interesting savory notes. It is. Well, maybe less salted than other cheeses, than other goudas. I'm getting dairy notes. There's a buttery texture, a buttery taste. But something savory. It's quite a bit of restraint in the uh, cumin flavor. But it is an herbal, grassy... Ooh, interesting spice level there. Wow, interesting, okay. This can be pretty wild. Okay, I'm gonna put that on a cracker. Couple of pieces here. Get it on a buttery cracker and see how this goes. Wow, okay, so the cumin is a low level, it's not real intense, but it covers the whole thing. It's there at the beginning, it's there at the end, and it is distinctive without being intense. It 
tastes a little milder than the kind of popping a few seeds in my mouth this morning and biting right into them. This is a milder, more subtle flavor. Oh, so interesting. Oh, wow. Just, and it goes and goes and goes and goes. Gives the cheese a long finish. I'm trying to figure out the texture of the cheese here. It's fairly moist, high moisture level. And it's not, it's not overly fat containing. So uh, you chew it up and it disappears like other cheeses. It's not quite as coaty because some of them have been. Certainly doesn't seem to be uh, cream enriched before they make the milk into cheese. So, so Biscoff has been an interesting pairing partner. So I'm gonna put a little piece on my Biscoff and see how all those cinnamony, dark caramel coffee notes get along with the uh, extra spice in here. I think the flavors in the Biscoff cookie were stronger than the low intensity cumin notes in the cheese. So that kind of overwhelmed it. So, okay, I'm just starting to get a feel for some of this. I'm gonna get a piece. Okay, so I'm gonna do all the nuts here. I'm gonna put a couple of cashews on the big piece and I put on more if I could. Like maybe I'll get a third. And try to see if the nuttiness of the cashews goes along with this uh, spice level. Texture contrast is poor, but the flavor is real interesting. I like nuttiness in Indian dishes. A lot of times it's very subtle. But that is a great nutty spice cumin combination. Yeah, it really worked. Okay. This is getting interesting. I'm going to try some sunflower seeds. And it doesn't take much to uh, take over the place. So I'm going to let a few fall off here. What I've got, not to have a big impact. Let's go. Mmm. Strong nuttiness, and I can barely, I can still get the cumin notes. That's an interesting combination. Very foreign, very outside my usual box of flavors that I uh, come across. So, the, oh man, this cheese is interesting. Okay, let's keep going. Let's make this a little smaller. And see, put these aside. How an almond gets along. I wanna make sure I bite into it early. almond kind of disappeared. The cheese texture and cheese flavor are there. I didn't get so much of the dairy notes, but I did uh, detect the cumin all the way through. Okay, so the almond didn't work as well as some of the other stuff. I'm gonna try this uh, weird rustic bread with lots of flavors, lots of things. Seeds, I don't know what. It's buried with some of the cheeses I've paired it with. But we'll try this. Okay, the cumin stays above the bread level, which is pretty odd, considering how low intensity the cumin is. Wow, so interesting. The cumin is just low level all the way through and this bread <laughs> flavors often bury other cheeses but i was getting a cumin all the way through and i mean there's weediness it's a moist bread my the flavors did not uh, overtake anything okay that's weird let me get a couple more pieces ready so i see cherries and mango 
an apple, and jalapenos. Jalapenos? What are you thinking? Well, this is certainly room temperature cheese, and it's very soft. I guess the mildest thing might be an apple. I've got a Granny Smith apple here. I don't know if that's too big or if I should get a smaller piece. Okay. Mm, good sized piece of cheese on Granny Smith apple. Fresh. Wow. Cumin all over the place. And I'm not sure it goes with an apple. There's a good flavor contrast between the cheese, the dairy notes, the spice, and the fruitiness of the apple, a little tartness from the apple, lots of moisture, lots of, I mean, <laughs> no salt in the apple and some salt in the cheese. Lots of contrast, but the apple and the cumin don't really play well together. Let me try it again. It's not a big clash either, they just don't complement each other. So someone may like exploring that, I don't know. Now, let's see, mango's next in line. And if I don't lose it to slipperiness. Okay, a big chunk of mango and a big piece of cheese. Mmm, mmm. Much better. Juicy, wet, fresh, fruity, and the cheese notes and the cumin all go along with it. That is an excellent combination. So many contrasts. But the flavors of the mango and the cumin are very compatible. Wow. Oh, cherry. Good size cherry. On a good size piece of Cumin Gouda. Let's not stain my shirt here. Okay, let's get this let's get this thing tasted. Interesting. I'm not sure I could tell the cumin was in there all the way through. And the cherry is not especially sweet. It's fruity, but it's not as sweet or juicy as it could be. Okay, let me redo. Cherry, cheese, okay, when I was careful to chew up the cherry well all the way through, I got the cumin all the way through. Very interesting how the cumin plays with different fruits. I'd say it doesn't very go well with the apple. It goes great with the mango and it's a kind of a in between on the cherry. So the spice of that is interesting with the cherry. It's not a combination I'm used to or ever had before, but that's wild. That's weird. Okay. I think what I want to try next is a little pepper jelly called Primo Strawberry Ancho. This is a really good strawberry jam with ancho chilies in it, which are smoky, not especially hot. Not known for being hot, but they're known for being smoky. So sweetness, heat, and smoke. Hurry up and eat it before it falls off. Mm. Trying to decide if the cumin made it through. Let me try a slightly smaller dose of the uh, pepper jelly. I'll pay more attention to the cumin notes. The smokiness and earthiness of the ancha goes well with the cheese and the uh, cumin made it through but it shows up more at the finish than during than in the middle the strawberry and <laughs> fruitiness and some of the heat 
is what you notice early. And the cumin doesn't really appear till the end. So that's good. That's very interesting. Another thing way outside my box. Okay, now I guess it's time for jalapenos. So I cut rings and left some rib. Just trying to get a vegetal combination with this and there's going to be some heat too because these are not super mild ones. Okay, jalapeno and cumin gouda. Oh, so interesting. I didn't get a lot of heat. I got a lot of like, protection from the fat coating of the cheese. So it was green and vegetal and that nice bell pepper or Anaheim or other green pepper flavor I love. And the cheese notes were there and the cumin was there. But I didn't get any of the jalapeno heat. It's so strange. I was protected from all that capsaicin. Let me try that again. And that's an odd combination I'm not used to. Cumin's there. Dairy notes. Creamy butteriness. Okay, there's a little more heat at the back of that one. Wow. Okay, so this is pretty wild stuff. This is quite a hoot. Exploring what things it goes with and doesn't go with. Oh, I need a cheers piece. So I did not know how this was going to go at all, but it went pretty well. Very interesting exploring all these different flavor combinations. And this is something anyone could do at home with a couple of kinds of cheese and a couple of things that they uh, find in their fridge or on their pantry shelf. So remember to like this video. Leave comments and questions, share it with friends, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell to get notified. We are in our last five or eight or I don't know how many of these cheese adventures we're going to do, but we're going to do a few more. So come back for that, and cheers. Mm -hmm.